I, I was watching this uh, documentary today, the new James Fox documentary, Jamie. Um, he's coming on next week. It's a new James Fox documentary about um, a, a UFO landing in Brazil in 1996. Holy shit, it's incredible. It's inc I had no idea that there's this t there's a city called Virginia in, in Brazil. And in 1996, the, according to everyone who was there, according to medical records of people who were there, according to, like, they blocked off the military came in, cordoned off the area, they recovered a crashed UFO. And there was living creatures that people came in contact with. And one of them was this tiny little thing that this guy carried. And he carried it to wherever they were going to examine it. And when he carried it, he got whatever was on its skin. It had like a slippery kind of a skin. It got into his body and infected him. And he wound up with this horrible general infection. And he wound up dying. His body shut down. His immune system shut down. His body didn't know what the fuck to do with this alien thing that he was interacting with. And it's there's real records of this guy contacting this thing, grabbing it, carrying it in. All these people witnessed it. And then this guy winds up with this insane infection shortly thereafter. That's all documented, too. All of his medical records. I find it more fascinating that there are groups of people that don't believe these stories. That yeah. This is a fascinating. I mean, you've got to be an idiot to believe. But this one's that, particularly that, fascinating. But the bubble that we live in where yeah. you have not witnessed a, uh, you know, I'm talking about you being somebody who's listening here. You, right. Because you haven't seen a spaceship, because you haven't been abducted, because you didn't read this story, to just uh, convince yourself that it doesn't exist. Yes. And to uh, shit on somebody else who has facts, like you got to tune in to, what, to listen to that episode. Well, because unless it happens to you, how the fuck could you ever believe that? Right? Really? I mean, really? Yeah, I, yes, you could. But I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm from uh, a pessimist or a, a cynic's point of view. Like, well, why would you? Come on, that's nonsense. Because, because it's because ridiculous it to but, believe but that. But it hasn't happened to you. See, if it hasn't happened to you, you think it's not possible. Like, you, go, you, you can only born. relate. The right. fact that you were born and you had children and you are living here and just functioning and living in this. Crazy. It, this is fucking nuts. Yeah, this is nuts. This is nuts. Yeah. But this is accepted. Why yeah. is this any nuttier or less nuttier than believing that in the we are just this little dot? Yeah. That this doesn't exist other places and they have the facility to make their way here from time to time. It's just a lack of irrefutable evidence. There's a lack of something where everybody could point to it. Like if, if you say, I believe in the Golden Gate Bridge, I'm like, right. cut the fuck out of here, Howard. It's not a bridge across the ocean. That's so stupid. How would they even do that? And then you take me to the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm like, holy shit, it's a real thing. I see it. But if I had no idea what it was and you were just explaining it to me, maybe I'm, I'm a moron. I'm like, I don't believe it. I never saw a bridge. I've seen a UFO. But when, have you really? Yeah. What'd you see? I saw, and I was with my wife, and it was right there. I was driving. I was in Toronto. I'm, I'm from Toronto, Canada. I was in my 20s, and we were driving down a country road, and I thought, oh, my God, there's a giant accident way up ahead because I saw this, this line of uh, like a half a mile wide of all these flashing lights. So I thought there was a, like a line above ambulances or you know first responders or whatever. And as I got closer and closer... That whole line of lights, quicker than I can fathom, just shot into the sky and disappeared. And I turned to my wife and I go, did, did you, I saw something. Did you see something? She goes, the lights? And I go, yeah. And we've never seen anything since. We went, uh, this is way before the internet, but we called the airport. We, did, we called uh, the military. Has there been any reports? We didn't see anything on the news, but we both saw it. Well, could you ex describe the lights? A, a, a straight line of lights that looked like they were probably, you know, uh, a quarter of a mile wide. You know, like it was, it was, this was a giant line of lights. So I thought there was all cars lined up, you know, on, on a road. We were in a, there was no street lights or anything. It was above, when I realized what it was, it was probably about 30 or 40 feet above the road. You know, the, I, when, when I think about where I first saw the lights, they couldn't be on top of a car because there's no car that, that stands yeah. that high or trucks or a train. And then the point was that how fast that I saw, the, the, how quickly I saw this line of lights just shoot into the atmosphere and disappear. Like, I've never seen anything move that, at, at that velocity. How far away was it when, you, when it shot away? See, 
because I, I, it was night, it could have been 10 miles. It could have been one mile. I don't know how big it was because I didn't actually see the object. I saw mm. a line of lights. Right. So I don't know how far I was from the lights. But I do know, if you called my wife right now, she would describe the exact same thing. She was sitting in the car with me. Mm. We're both not, you know, UFO enthusiasts. We, I don't know that I didn't have a non-belief. I just just never thought of it. We saw this weird thing that has never been explained to us. 